Hi friends, welcome back. I am so excited to be sharing today's video with you guys because I actually have a new member, a new addition to my family and her name is Sophie. Sophie is a three month old little Frenchie. She is just the most precious little angel, little light in my life. Before I dive into all the other videos and footage of Sophie, I wanted to give you guys some context on why I decided to get her. So I actually wasn't seriously looking at puppies. I was just honestly browsing and I would walk into a puppy store. I would hold different types of puppies. I held a Shiba Inu. I held a Palm Ski. There wasn't any puppy that I automatically gravitated to and I was like, that's the one. So I didn't pull the trigger on anything and another month passed by. I was looking online and I've always wanted a French Bulldog, but I never decided to get one. They're just so expensive. The ones online were probably going for about $5,000. So I went on Craigslist and there were actually a lot of breeders nearby. Um, and there was one about an hour away. I actually was looking at her and one other, I won't tell her that I was looking at one other puppy. It was a fawn one and I actually almost got the fawn one, but the owner actually decided to keep the dog and I got really sad. I almost started crying. And my boyfriend was like, well, wait a minute, like, why don't we go, you know, get the other one that you wanted? And I was like, you know what? Like, yeah, let's go do it. They were both the same price and she was actually the runt of the mom's litter. I felt so bad. It broke my heart because she was kind of getting stomped on by her older brother. Definitely was the more submissive and quiet one of the group. She was the smallest one. I read up on the four different dog temperaments and I know one is alpha, one is docile, one is independent, and she was definitely the submissive one. Whenever you go down to pet her, her ears go back and she kind of crouches down to the ground. Wait, you want me to wrap her up in the blanket again? <laughs> she's like, no. Wrap her up in the blanket. Oh, maybe she's too comfy, baby. Just a little, wait, wait, wait. Wait, you gotta stop recording so you just see the end product. Mm. <gasps> Hi, baby. Oh, yeah. Little head. She loves to be held. She loves cuddling. She loves attention. chance she gets she wants to be next to you whenever I'm up on the couch or I'm up on my bed she just wants to be right next to me all the time when I'm working at my desk she's sitting down by my feet She's definitely teething right now. She loves her little chew toys we bought her. She's definitely starting to feel more comfortable at home when we first got her. She was still a little bit shy, but now she's opening up a little bit. She likes to run around. It's the funniest thing when she sleeps because not only does she want to have her head right next to yours and in your neck, but she'll actually sleep on her back with her arms spread out and her legs spread out straight and she looks like a little chicken or like a little turkey. When it comes to feeding her, I do feed her three times a day.
I started off giving her the food that the breeder gave to me that she was feeding her, which was this, this Nutrisource Super Performance food. And to be honest, I didn't see very good reviews of it online. So I've been weaning her onto a new brand called Blue Buffalo for puppies. It's like this all natural chicken and rice food. So I've been giving her like 75% of her old food and 25% of her new food. That way it doesn't upset her stomach and she transitions into it okay. Funny story, the first night we had her, she actually slept in my bed and we woke up in the morning and my boyfriend actually found out that he had pee on his forehead which i thought was hilarious but he didn't think it was very funny other than that she has a very calm temperament she does get very playful and restless i would say the time she gets most restless is really early in the morning and a little bit in the afternoon but for the most part she does nap most of the day one of the things i really had to make sure to do is make the house puppy proof i had to put blankets over the cords to make sure she wasn't biting on them make sure to remove the rugs in case she had any accidents on them there. Other than that, I can really say she's the sweetest, most behaved puppy. <laughs> <laughs> In trouble. <laughs> Sophie, you are not supposed to be chewing on that box. She never really barks. She'll get kind of fussy sometimes and whine. She's already learned how to sit. She's already half potty trained. Sit. Time to get a treat. Good girl. Good girl. Thank you guys again so much for watching this video. If you could please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel or if you want to even just see more videos of Sophie. Ha, 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 ha.